Until now, I have been focused on the best way. The very best way to defeat Zhao Zhao. The strength he has gathered up to now is overwhelmingly large. If each of us were to fight him alone, there is nothing, absolutely nothing we could do. Thus, the strength of all of you who have gathered here today is necessary. Master Sun Sa of Yang Province. Master Ma Chao of Liang Province. Master Yuan Shi of Xi Province. And this is Master Liu Bei of Shu Province. Let us all join together as one to rid the world of that Cao Cao. In other words, you wish to attack Cao Cao from all sides. Exactly. It is for this reason, for this very reason that I've worked so hard in secret with Master Liu Bei and have finally found a way to put together this encirclement of Cao Cao. I agree that all of us here share a desire to get rid of that Cao Cao. But this is, after all, merely an impromptu alliance. Can we really defeat him simply by surrounding him? Our fighting strength, the tactics that we all excel at are all very different. It will likely be very hard to work smoothly together. And then, there is also the precedent of Jing Province. I am left with serious misgivings about going along with this plan of yours. <laughs> that is the past. In that battle, we only needed to reach Lord Liu Biao. And we achieved our goal. And now, now is the time to strike at Cao Cao's overextended formation. I have already designed a huge encirclement that your forces will be able to carry out. If I could get you to follow that, I have complete confidence that we will be able to achieve total victory. Very well then, let me explain our current objective. We will begin a battle in two places simultaneously, completely simultaneously. Cao Cao's forces have begun their southern campaign. We will hit their front and rear. The key battles will be at Jing Province and Yan Province. Master Ma Chao and Master Sun Se will be in charge of Jing, while Master Yuan Shi and Master Liu Bei will attack Yan. Why attack separately? Look at the strength of those of us here. We should gather our forces and just blow right through them. No, that would allow Cao Cao the time to ready his forces to counter us. This is a surprise attack. We cannot allow them time to prepare. Exactly, most exactly correct. Therefore, I must ask that you use each of your considerable strengths to bring chaos to Cao Cao's forces and reduce his strength. In other words, you want us to go wild in the territories we are in charge of. Then, leave that to me. I'll crush all of Cao Cao's forces. I'm so glad to hear that. With that, I wish everyone the best of luck. It appears that you have forced the enemy to pull out of Xing province as well. This has been a grand victory, a truly grand victory. However, Cao Cao's forces are indeed talented. They were able to maintain most of their formations even while pulling out. If we had carelessly pursued them, we would likely have suffered damage. That is because our enemy is truly cunning. When evacuating, you must have defenses, and also a way to strike if the opportunity presents. Overcoming this is where the true battle is. Next, we must gather our strength and head for Cao Cao's main base. We attack Xu Chong. Yes, even Xu Chong. We must use our current momentum to take control of that land. Finally! Finally, we have cornered Cao Cao! 
Let this land become the land of his demise. For this final battle, let us split into two forces. The main force will attack from the south, while the other will attack from the north. The very north. We're splitting our forces again? It would be better to just join forces and attack, wouldn't it? We need to maintain the momentum that allowed us to capture that impregnable Shuchang. I have to agree with him this time. If we pressure them just a bit more, they should collapse. Why should we split our strength at a time like this? To cut off any chance of Cao Cao escaping? Is that a sufficient reason? The land to the north is a mountain range with truly harsh terrain. It would be very difficult, extremely difficult, to capture him if he were to escape to there. Is that your only reason? That is all. Yes, all. All right. We don't have time to be doubting each other's motives. We must defeat Cao Cao and usher in a brand new world. Cao Cao has fallen and his dreams of conquest have faded. Our battle is over, isn't it, Chen Gong? The end of battle can be said to be the beginning of a new world. And the one who will stand at the top of this world is me. It is I, Chen Gong, who holds the emperor in the palms of my hands, these hands. Owns the Emperor. When exactly did that happen? Just now, I received word from scouts I had sent out. They captured the Emperor, who was trying to flee to the north. This is one of the reasons I split our forces into two. I heard that that was to prevent Cao Cao from escaping to the north. Chen Gong, why? Haven't we been fighting to prevent Cao Cao's path of conquest? Of course, that was one of the reasons, but that was never the final goal. The true goal, the truer goal, was to take control of the Emperor away from Cao Cao and to spread my name throughout the land as a peerless Prime Minister. What? Then, you have been deceiving me, and using me for your own personal goals. And not only me, Master Sun Tzu, and Master Ma Chao as well. I had believed in you as a cunning scholar, but in the end, you betray me. When did I deceive you? When did I betray you? I have never once interfered with your intentions. As a matter of fact, wasn't receiving the Emperor one of your deepest wishes? That may be so, but... Chen Gong, you cannot see as far into my heart as you imagine. To think that I must carry on with such a promising, yet terrifying man. Come now, we don't have time for this. We must now work to rebuild our land. So, let us go and greet our Emperor. Well done. I shall leave this issue of dealing with Cao Cao to you. Your wish is my command. Wait! You! What are you called? This humble one is called... So you hope to make a connection with His Highness, do you? It looks like you are truly ambitious. Though, it does seem that there is perhaps a misunderstanding. I merely wish to prove that if one did exactly 
as I, Chen Gong, said, then they could defeat me. If that is so, then you must truly be satisfied with how things are now. No, no. This is nothing more than a small part of my true ambition. What I truly wish is to hear surging voices throughout the land. All of them, everywhere, rise to sing the praises of me, Chang Gong.